In this problem, we're once again given the mapping of a relation. We're asked first to determine whether the relation is a function. Uh, and then the, the last two parts are the same as what they have been in the past. Find the domain of the relation and find the range of the relation. So with part one again, we're asked, or part A again, we're asked to determine whether the relation is a function. Now remember, a relation is a function if and only if for every input, there's only one output. Well, in this case, we can see that all three of our inputs, NBC, HGTV, and HBO, they all have multiple outputs. So since NBC, HGTV, and HBO all have multiple programs. The relation is not a function. Uh, we could also say that each x value is not matched with only one y value. That's another way of saying that. Each input is not matched with only one output. Now with part b, the domain, just as it's been in the past, is all of the x values. So in this case, the domain is going to be NBC, HGTV, and HBO. I'm going to write this one over to the side a little bit because we have quite a few. The range, again, is all Y values, all outputs. The set of all outputs. So we have the Ellen DeGeneres show. Law and Order, The Tonight Show, Property Brothers, House Hunters, Love It or List It, Game of Thrones, True Detective, and finally Sesame Street. So again, just to recap, because each input has multiple outputs, the relation is not a function. And it, that, that would be the case even if one input had multiple outputs. If it fails the test of each input only having one output, then it's not a function. The relation is not a function. The domain, as always, is the set of x values, and the range, as always, is the set of y values.